What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to my channel. Hope it's not the first time watching one of my videos, but in case it is, I am a third year medical student studying King's College London. And today I'll be taking you guys through a full day of studying with me during my revision period. I'll go through, so I'm really excited to take you guys along with me. All right, so my alarm rang at 8.50 a.m. in the morning and I stayed in bed for around 25 minutes and did absolutely nothing. Uh, I don't normally do this, but because all I had to do today was just revise, um, my day was a lot more chilled. I decided to take a little bit of time just chilling in bed before actually getting up and getting work done. So that's around quarter past nine, I then got up and started getting ready, uh, went to talk I did my hair, got dressed, and did all those normal things you do in the morning. I then went over to the kitchen and made my breakfast. Um, I started off by making the most important thing of the day, which is my morning cup of coffee. And I also made my breakfast, which was cereal and two boiled eggs that morning. At around half past 10, I then started uh, to work. The first thing that I normally do in the morning uh, before starting like any sort of revision is to turn on my Pomodoro timer. I normally set around a one hour timer in the morning um, and then followed by a five minute break. The reason why I choose an hour in the morning is when I have the most amount of energy. So an hour of revision, an hour of like proper straight revision isn't actually that hard. Uh, towards the end of the day, I then start to reduce the timer and take breaks more frequently because my brain gets a bit more tired and I get a bit more restless. So the first thing that I go through in the morning is to go through all of my emails. Um, I normally check my emails around once a day. I used to have this compulsive habit of checking my emails multiple times a day, but I realized that takes out quite a lot of time during my day. So I spend around half an hour in the morning going through all of my emails, uh, making sure that I'm up to date with everything I need to know from my work. After around half an hour checking my emails, um, at around 11 o'clock, I then start to go through my lectures. Um, before going through my lectures and revising my lectures, the first thing that I do is to go through the whole list of all of the lectures I need to go through in preparation for this exam. It really, really is important in medical school to make sure that you know exactly where you are in your revision. It really is important to keep track of your progress before an exam and to make sure that you're covering enough lectures in time for the actual exam. So I opened up my document and looked at all the number of lectures I needed to cover today to make sure that I make it in time for my exam. I then started using my notes to test myself and make sure that I understand what's going on in the lecture. On the screen in front of me on my display, I had the notes I had made a few weeks back on my lectures. These notes contain all of the key points that I need to know from my lectures and any research that I did outside of the lecture. I then use my tablet as a kind of whiteboard to test myself on these notes. For example, the first bullet point in my notes was asthma. I'll then go onto my tablet and write everything that I know about the topic. This could be the signs, uh, the symptoms, the examinations, the investigations, uh, and the management as well. After writing this, I then refer back to my notes on the screen and see whether what I wrote on my tablet was what I've written about on my notes previously, and that was factually correct. This is just the method that I use to test myself and to use active recall to make sure that I remember what I've written in my notes a couple of weeks prior. After using the active recall process to learn my notes and to make sure that I know it over the next couple of minutes, at around 11.35, I then took my first five minute break and on the break, I just kind of messed around, went on my phone, uh, got went on Instagram and procrastinated for around five minutes. At 11.40 a.m., I then put another Pomodoro timer on and started going through my lectures again. One key thing is that if I feel that there's a possibility that I might forget something, um, if active recall kind of isn't good enough to retain some of the information in my notes, I then go ahead and add it to a cheat sheet. A cheat sheet is a, is a method I recently started using. And what it basically is, is maybe one or two sides of paper where I write down all of the points I know that I'm likely to forget. These are kind of things like uh, drug names or very specific information that you just kind of have to commit to memory. There is no way that I feel that I can put that in my long-term memory. So for me, I add it to the cheat sheet so that before the exam, I can go over my cheat sheet and make sure that I know all of the minute details that make the difference between me getting, um, you know, maybe 60% and 80% or maybe 70% and 80%. But I should stress that it's not a way of cramming. Of course, by using my method of active recall and checking my notes, that's the way that I learned kind of all the general concepts and all the big concepts. But those minute details that make the difference between doing extremely well and okay really, really lies in knowing these minute details Details that I'll add to my cheat sheet. Another thing that I do as I work is that if anything pops into my head, any sort of task that I need to do during the day, as soon as it pops into my head, I write it down on a separate to-do list so I don't get distracted. This is really good because as I work, um, random stuff comes into my head like, oh, I need to text this person or I need to send this email. And because I don't want to stop the flow of my work, the flow of my learning, I make sure to write it down on a list I can then tackle later on uh, when I'm free and not revising. From 1 to 2 p.m. I then had my lunch. Uh, for lunch, I had my meal prep, which I prepared a couple of days ago. I usually meal prep my meals because it saves so much time, which is so key during revision period. I then stop the microwave at exactly 0.01 seconds left, as I always do. And to be honest, I'm not entirely sure why I do this. Um, I think it just makes me feel like some sort of bomb disposal technician or something. Uh, you can tell how bored I was over the last couple of hours. For lunch, I had stir fry noodles, which I use my chopsticks to eat, which is completely coincidental to the fact that I'm half Japanese and I just had to be filming a study with me on this particular day. After having lunch at around 2 p.m., I then decided to walk to campus to go and work in the library. Uh, I decided to go to campus just for change of scenery. I think it's a really good strategy to do so when you revise for long periods at a time uh, for a few reasons. 
The first is that walking or traveling to the library gives you a little break that is timed. Uh, the second reason is that a different environment kind of spices things up a little bit. A uh, third reason is that you also get a bit of social time as well by bumping into people that you might know. It took me around half an hour to get to the library. Uh, and when I got to the library, I actually bumped into one of my friends, uh, Adam. We decided to book a room together and work together for the next couple of hours. We weren't actually working together, but it's nice to kind of work with someone for motivation. Or if you don't understand anything, you can clarify it by asking your friend. Every few minutes or so, we also had a little chat, uh, and it makes revising just slightly more enjoyable. I then spent that hour going over slides that were given to us by society that held a revision lecture a few weeks back, just to make sure that I didn't miss anything in my notes. And in case I did, I then go on to supplement my notes. After an hour of doing this, I then took a 10 minute break and came back to the library at around 3.40 p.m. where I continued to go through the slides of more lectures, making sure that I haven't missed anything and again, supplementing my notes if I did. At around quarter past five, I then took a 30 minute break. Uh, Adam and I went for coffee. And the reason why I took a longer break is that it's around this time that I normally get uh, quite tired and my mind starts wandering a bit more. So a bit more of a prolonged break really helps prevent this. After having a nice coffee, I felt a lot more awake and I started doing some practice multiple choice questions to make sure and understand what I was learning in the morning. This was just a method to kind of test my knowledge. I heard a saying one day that said that um, you don't actually know something until you're tested on it and get it right. I got these multiple choice questions again from the society that held the revision session. I definitely recommend going to revision sessions like these in medical school because the resources that they provide really are quite valuable. All right, so around 6.45 p.m., the library was a bit dead, so I decided to walk home. On the way home, I normally just um, either call my friends, listen to some music on Spotify, or listen to a podcast or audible book. When I got home, I then relaxed and chilled for a bit. I watched some YouTube, uh, procrastinated on Instagram, follow me by the way. And then at around 7.30, I got back on the last 45 minutes of grind for the day. From 7.30 till around 8.15, I then went back to do some multiple choice questions, but this time I used PassMed. PassMed is a resource online. It's a website that has a bunch of really useful questions, uh, multiple choice questions that are made for medical students. So I really highly recommend that you guys use that resource. At around quarter past eight, I then went to the gym. I did a bit of cardio, uh, ran on the treadmill, I came home, had dinner, uh, chilled for a bit more, and then went to bed. So that pretty much is a standard kind of study with me session uh, during preparation for one of my medical school exams. I know it's not really that exciting, but sometimes, honestly, that is the reality of medical school. Sometimes it's not the most exciting. Sometimes you have to force yourself to sit down for 10 hours at a time to revise, to make sure you know the content that will one day save lives. And that's the most important thing that I kind of kept reminding myself is that one day, this will make the difference between uh, saving your life and not saving your life. So it really is key that you become disciplined in sitting down for a number of hours a day to learn what you should know to become that successful doctor you wanna be. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you did like it, please leave a comment down below and a thumbs up. Uh, let me know that you actually did enjoy it. So hopefully in the future, I'll make some more. Good luck with your revision for your exams and I'll see you guys on the next one.